Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. When we have data stored as a JSON object, we can use native MySQL functionality to return that data in a standard query result as if it was relational data. Let's take a look at the data we have in the JSON demo table. We can see that this table has two columns, ID and info. The info column contains JSON data. In each row, the JSON object has properties for age, name, and hobby. And two of the rows have a property named address, whose value is actually a JSON object itself. Now we're gonna show how you can return this data as if it was in a relational table. There are several ways we can extract data from a JSON object, but in my opinion, the easiest way is by using the JSON path operator hyphen greater than greater than. This path operator is actually shorthand for calling the JSON extract function inside of a JSON unquote function. Looking at the query, we see we are using this path operator several times. Let's break down how this operator works. First, we provide the column that contains our JSON data. In our demo, that column is named info. Next, we provide the path operator. Finally, we provide the path to the property we want to extract. The dollar sign signifies the root of the JSON document. For three columns, we are extracting the value from three properties directly off the JSON root, name, age, and hobby, respectively. For one column, we want a child property of a property off the root of the JSON document. To specify children of properties, we use a dot delimited path to the child property. Here, we use address.state to return the value of the state property under the address property. We also alias all of these values to make the result set easier to understand. When we run this query, we can see that all the columns return the expected data. Note in the state column, the value is null for the two people who did not have an address defined. This is because when using the JSON path delimiter, if a property does not exist along the path specified, null is returned. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.